Welcome back to another episode of Sailing Oka Solo. Once again, we transit Johnstone Strait. This time, we're heading south. The smoke from the wildfire make it really hard to produce enough power from solar. There's just no favorable wind, so we have to motor, and at this point, we need to run hybrid, so we have to run the generator. To run hybrid, I'm using a 3200 watt generator, which is a portable Honda, through a 3000 watt inverter, which only allows for about four or four and a half knots uh, when the hull is clean. So, um, I mean, it's not perfect, it's not fast, but it allows us to get going and get places, uh, even though we're going slow. Good morning crew, we're just anchored in the little bay just uh, just east of Kelsey Bay. Um, the going has been super slow and that's kind of why I didn't do much filming. Because uh, it's been it's been motoring non-stop, there's no sun because of the smoke and uh, so I'm not getting much from the solar panels and uh, uh, I have to cover long distances uh, without uh, any favorable wind actually the, for the last three days there was headwinds. Looks like maybe, maybe today we're gonna get some some favorable wind. Fingers crossed. Also, another reason why this, uh, the going has been really slow is that so the paint job is just a little bit over a year old now, and um, I drove to clean the prop because the prop the prop was full of uh, of barnacles, but then it's it's a little fuzzy. And even though I scrubbed it, like I I can definitely tell that I'm, I've slowed down. Like in a few episodes ago. I did um, a kind of a range and speed test in the perfectly flat water, and I was getting a three knots out of a 1,000 watts. And right now, I get three knots out of 2,500 watts. So, like, I'm using more than twice the power to get to that speed, which really reduces my my range. And uh, right now, my range is maybe only like six to eight hours compared to 12 hours. So it's not not ideal, but gotta do what you gotta do.
currently just 1.3 miles away from Seymour Narrow, which it's going to be the third time that I cross it. And uh, this is, uh, like, there's less current than the last two times, but I have a wind kind of, yeah, kind of on the nose, and then, uh, like, I, I have a lot of growth on the hull, so it's going pretty slow. Although, I mean, we're hitting six knots right now because of the current. Because, uh, uh, how much current is there right now? So right now there's five knots of current, which it's going to peak at 13 knots about 2 o'clock this afternoon. And it's uh, 11.21, so we want to get through as soon as possible. And we're through Seymour Narrows, once again, successful, with an average speed of 10 and a half knots through the Narrows. Yeah. Oh shit. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there's a tide rip right there that's going that way at, I don't know how many knots, I don't want to find out. Um, so I gotta stay on this side of the rip. Because right now we're still doing 9.5 knots, so I figure that's about 10 knots of current probably right there. Definitely don't want to get into that rip. So we're doing seven knots right now.
Oh, the engine is long, it's electric. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. I did not know that. <laughs> I think people get confused quite a bit because of that. Man, that is like... Man, There's no noise at all. Like, that's the cooling system. It's liquid cool. That's oh. what you hear. Wow. Yeah, if you're curious, uh, the name of the boat is Oka, and I post on YouTube sailing Oka. 